Hey guys, about 10 months ago, I made a version of this video, but I didn't show you how to host it online. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to try my best. In this part, I'm going to recap everything I went over in the first video, for anyone that didn't see it. And then, I will leave a timestamp for if you just want to skip to how to host online. With that being said, here's the video. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download uh, Blockheads on your PC and play it with your friends online. So first we're going to go to this website called bluestacks.com. This is what we're going to be playing it on. It's kind of like a phone, but on your PC. You're going to download it, and once you get it downloaded, open it up. Alright, so on your uh, Bluestacks app player, you're not going to have the blockheads yet. So to download it, you're going to have to go to Chrome and paste this website that I will have linked in the description below. Alright, once you're here, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on download APK. Alright, close off the ad. And right here, it's asking me if I want to download the file again because I've done it before, so I'm just going to click on download again. Alright, file downloaded. I'm going to open it. Click install on the bottom right. Alright, app installed. Go ahead and open up the blockheads. Okay, so if you want to just play solo, go over here to create a world offline, create a new world, choose everything you want, and uh, just create it. You know, you can make your character, but you're going to notice a problem, and that's that um, you're just going to be clicking to move around. And if you're playing on PC, maybe you want to play. Uh, with WASD and it's also annoying how this thing is like vertical so here's how we fix that first we're gonna click on here uh, called rotate the shortcut it's kinda small to read but it says control shift 4 so click on that and click on landscape and then save and restart alright now you can uh, load into your world now in order to move around using WASD so you don't have to click with your mouse or use the uh, d-pad with your mouse you're going to use the keyboard shortcut control shift a this is going to bring up the controls editor menu and you can drag this d-pad over here and then you can type in w a s and d for each of these and once you have it lined up the way you want it, you just click on save and now when you press w a s d your character will move like that so it's pretty nice now you're probably wondering how does the online work? Well, if you try to join a random world, you're going to see that it's not going to work. It's going to say search failed. This is because the actual cloud servers got shut down. So how do I join a server? Well, there's a few different options. First, you can find a already active server. There are a few discords out there. Um, if you guys are interested, leave a comment and I can link some of the discords to you guys. Um, there's also a way to host your own server though so that you can invite your friends to that. Um, there is a Linux server option and there is a Mac server option. I don't know how to do the Linux server option, but plenty of people in the Discord do. So if you only have the uh, Linux option to go through, then tell me and I can get you in a Discord that can help you out with that. However, if you have a Mac, you know, old Mac computer or a Mac laptop or anything, it has to be a Mac computer though. Um, you will be able to host your own server using the uh, Blockheads Mac server hosting app. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm on Windows right now because I can't show my Mac computer because it's an old one and I can't record on it. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store um, and look up this app right here. I'll also leave a link for this in the description if you need it. Okay, alright. Here's kind of a low quality image, but this is exactly what the app looks like, alright? So, you can uh, create a new world in the bottom left. You can name it whatever you want and however big you want it. And right here, you're going to have max players. That's how many people you can have max in your world. The max is 32. All right. Right here, you're going to put your port to 15151. And the world name can be whatever you want. That's all you have to set up for the app. And then after that, you'll just be able to click on start. However, you're still not going to be able to join because you need an IP to put into there. Okay, and you also are going to have to port forward this IP to uh, let other people into the world. 
Okay, to get the IP that you need, you're gonna have to go to a uh, website that will display your public IP. I'll link another link for that in the description, um, but I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna show you guys my public IP. But it'll be very simple. As soon as you click on the website, it should say what your public IP is. If not, and you need help, let me know in the description. Or, I mean, if not, uh, let me know in the comments. Okay, now, the uh, little confusing part that a lot of people are hesitant about is port forwarding. But you have to port forward in order to let other people onto your server. This is nowhere near as hard as it seems at all. Um, it's basically the same as every other, uh, if you were trying to like port forward a Minecraft server, it's the exact same process, alright? Okay, now what you need to do is first get onto the uh, website that has your router settings and everything. I can't help you with this because everyone's router is different, but um, there are plenty of tutorials for different routers. You just gotta figure out how to get into your account. Um, usually the website is like 192.168.0.1. Um, that lets you get into a lot of different routers like main websites, but I can't help you with getting the password or uh, email for any of that. So once you do figure out how to get into here, you're gonna find where a place that says port forward or something. You click on add port forward, okay? For uh, your device, you're gonna choose your Mac, um, all right? Or the IP of your Mac, if you can figure it out. You get the local IP of your Mac computer that you are hosting the server on, okay? You can name it whatever you want. That's what I put for application. For uh, if it's TCP or UDP, I would select both, but um, Blockheads, I'm pretty sure, is uh, UDP for the server. Um, for anything that says port, put 15151 for everything. I put it for start and, and target, but you might not have all three of these. Okay? Once you do that and you run that port forward, you'll be good to go. Alright? And the very last step is going to duck DNS. This is what I use. It's just the easiest thing I found. All right, you're gonna make an account. Now, once you have made an account, all you need to do is create a uh, new domain name, all right? Uh, I think you're allowed five of them for free, but basically what you do is right here, you enter whatever kind of name you wanna name your server, it does not matter. As long as it's not taken, you click on add domain. For current IP, you put the public IP address uh, that you have that you found earlier on the public IP address website and then you're just gonna run that and it should work okay as soon as you do that you're gonna go back to blockheads okay you're gonna go to online okay you're gonna join online IP now for the server IP it's actually going to be this right here. So it's gonna be, well, ignore the HTTP in front, it's gonna be whatever you named it, dot duckdns.org. Okay, that's what we put in for there. Nickname, that's whatever you wanna be called in your world. Server port, 15151. Profile picture, you can put whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention, after you uh, do all the DuckDNS thing, make sure you click on start in the uh, bottom left of this to run your server. Join the world, it should work. If not, let me know. I'll try to help you as best as I can in the comments. Now, some helpful information just to send you guys off. I found that when there were multiple of us in the world, you actually can't break someone else's workbench, and this is kind of annoying. So what you can do is slash admin, and then the username of whoever you want to get admin to, and that person will be able to break any workbench and do anything that they want, like uh, stuff like that. I think you can also ban people and stuff like that. This is just kind of like your command uh, thing. You can you can probably find some uh, other commands if you look them up. But just right here on the Blackhead server hosting app, that's where you send it all. But with that, that is how you play Blockheads on PC and host a server.